hello and welcome today in this video i am going to show you how you can use wicked pro a free video editor for android so you can install it from google play store and let's open this application when you will run this application for the first time there is a problem with this video editor it forces you to sign up for free trial so you might ask what is the problem for free trial because if you forget to cancel your trial then yeah you will be charged and it only offers a free trial for three days and if you don't sign up for free trial it won't let you edit your videos actually this happened with me so that's why i'm sharing this video now first of all we have this material center option so you can download themes then you can also download music we have different categories we have text styles filters transitions stickers effects sound effects and all these options personally i don't prefer this video editor because we have better alternatives so I have been using InShot video editor for a while and I really love it. Now let's try to edit this video. First of all we have themes option so if you tap theme you can choose any theme of your choice. So you can see first of all we have sweet love so you can see the live preview then we have night light and many other themes. You can tap OK to apply this theme. Then we have trim option so you can trim your video. But uh, trim feature is not advanced. You just need to swipe left or right to trim your video. It doesn't allow you to split your videos into multiple parts. So that's a big problem with this. Then we have music volume settings. So you can change the music volume settings. You can also start and uh, manage start and end time for your music, or you can delete this. Next, we have speaker options, so you can uh, apply any sticker to your video. These are default stickers, but you can tap this I uh, sample or this icon to download more stickers from their store. You can also change speed of your video you can make you can use reverse feature then we have aspect ratio which is really great uh, option so you can choose different aspect ratios if you are going to publish your video on IGTV or TikTok you you should select 9 by 16 but if you are going to publish your videos on Facebook pages or YouTube 16 by 9 is recommended then you can also choose other aspect ratios such as 3 by 4 or 1 by 1 recommended for Instagram or Twitter so I'm going to select 16 by 9 next we have background option so you can change background for vertical uh, for horizontal videos so you can also choose color so you can see now we have this black background for video you can also add text to your videos very easily simply type anything tap ok now you can change size you have different options or different styles if you tap font settings you have more options you can change color for your text you can also change font and then we have some more settings such as opacity and bold italic and other options you can also apply different effects to your videos just tap this plus symbol and now we have these options so we can apply different effects to our video 
then we have transition settings so if you have multiple clips on your timeline you can also apply transitions between these clips you can also apply filters you can also rotate your video then we have zoom settings and voiceover effects you can also apply different sound effects to your videos very easily if you go to sound effects option so we have this beep building and many other options so you can also preview all these effects let's tap ok and once your editing is complete you can click export button to export your video you can also share this video directly to different social media platforms on youtube facebook instagram whatsapp and other services if you tap save to gallery option you can export your video in different screen resolution from 480p to 1080p now if i want to export video in full hd 1080p i will have to tap on this and it will export my video in full hd 1080p it depends on the length of your video if you have a lengthy video it will take more time and once your editing is complete it will give you some more options to uh, compress your video or you can also create a gif from your video overall i am not really impressed with this video editor because we have some better alternatives such as inshot or zucut video editor now you can see we have video to gif trim compress and share options and we can also see some other applications from this developer Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing our channel for more Android app reviews and Android related videos.